Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Hester and welcome back to Single Player Space Engineers Survival. Okay, so, I just wanted to touch base on a few things, mainly that, uh, excuse me, also to give you guys a rundown on the week ahead, but as you can see, there is a metric ton of... <laughs> concrete slabs and what I've been doing is every time I fill one of these I make a note of it on a spreadsheet nerd alert and um, basically this is going to be um, how I'm going to uh, blueprints give it a moment but basically I do plan to go to a planet after I finished the quasar, and as you can see, that AZ concrete is the um, basically the concrete that you just saw. And every time I finish filling one of these containers, is okay. I didn't need that much. Is basically when. Oh, because I plan to build on a planet, and to help reduce the lag, as you can see, I have a metric ton of components. And so to help combat that, I'm going to be filling containers, removing them, making note of how much they had in them and all that. That way, all I have to do is go to the AZ concrete and paste it in, or two, because that's how many I have right now. And, ooh, 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 I like resources. Resource, resource management was one of my tasks in um, the various space engineers factions that I've been in. And, okay. Like, that was the thing that I had the most fun doing. Like, managing all the resources that the faction had to use in order to make uh, our ships go boom, our fighters fly, and all that. Of course, I didn't have any say in the, um, whatchamacallit, in how the bases were set up. I just had to work with what I had, which, mm, not all that fun. Especially when I started butting heads about... Mm, I mean, we even had con the concrete mod installed at one point. And it got to the point where we were mining so much gravel or stone, people are like, oh, just dump it. And I, one of our projects was the building of a defense network that rec we wanted to make it entirely out of... Uh, the concrete slab and so guess what we ran out of midway through the project and we had an upcoming battle yeah so needless to say I was saying I told you so and yeah I don't do that often but mm, I mean I don't like saying I told you so, but in that instance, it was, mm, this is why you see me hoard all the materials. Because I'm going to be building on, um, well, I have several planet mods installed. Like, uh, well, <laughs> Just take your pick. Like there's LV five da or LV dash five two six, Yavik. Um, this one I had others. I think Europa is no. That's uh, Saturn Moon. Well, I have several mods here. It's just no, not predefined. Procedure, okay. So, yeah. So,
So that's just something to look forward to. I also do have working a, um, whatchamacallit, I have a second copy of Space Engineers that I'm using for my laptop, which will record those aerial views, basically like the time lapses of the shipyards that some other YouTubers do. I mean, it's going to be a pain because my laptop really isn't built for recording, <laughs> So, but that's why I'm going to be using the time lapse because it's just going to... Uh, I'm not going to use it for multiplayer, not until I get a new computer. That way, this could be relegated to those secondary shots, if you will, while the computer just records me. But to help fight some of the audio issues, I have thought about moving, um, I don't know, a lot of thought processes, or processes, I should say. Okay, and one of the comments I did read was the, was once I get to a point, start uh, filling in the hangers with the ties. I do intend to do that, and I even plan to work on the tie bomber. Just so, because uh, one of the comments I did read was, yeah, the TIE Bomber is a fat ma <laughs> But, you have to admit, the new catwalk, so much better. I mean, I'm not knocking the other one, it's just the other one looks industrial. Like, if I was going to use it, it's only going to be for, well, engineering areas that are supposed to look kind of run down, but at the same time, not, and before you ask why the reactor shut down, I installed another mod. It's the same author who made the hydrogen mod, but he gave a Mark II, and when I made the conversion over, all the liquid hydrogen, um, yeah, all the liquid hydrogen turned into these weird, uh, hydrogen bottles. I, I did a lot of cleanup off camera about that. See, it gives a uh, it gives me these. So that's something I have to deal with. Yay. So one of the early things that I did was I had to go into um, the Space Master. Oh, I hate this. Oy. So like I would look at this, look how much I have, and then go into the Space Master and convert it that way because, well... I already have the resources. I really don't want to have to fight this. I really need to finish this ship. It's times like this. I wish there was a small mini series where I was just. where I had help on this world. Because, I mean, look at this. This thing isn't even done. I mean, I still need to install the reactors, or not reactors, oh god, I'm tired. I still need to finish the refineries on this side, install the assemblers, refineries over here as well, assemblers over here as well, and all that.
sorry, my dad walked in. Anyway, so. I still need to finish this. <laughs> I'm thinking I might just remove this just to get rid of the clutter. But at the same time. It's days like today, I wish I lived in my own place. Anyway, so, as I was saying. Hmm. I don't know. So, that's why the power ran out over here, because the old ice processor didn't make the hydrogen that I needed for this. But also... The reason for the new mod is because Ah, here it is, the Energy Matter Replicator, I think. I don't know, it said something about turning hydrogen into materials at a steady rate, which to me makes sense, because when you think about it, that's what the Star Forge did in Star Wars, so might as well. Not that resources are a problem, I just... I knew I was going to convert over, it's just I wanted to have it, because I like resources and resource management. Speaking of that, is this thing done yet? Nope, halfway there. So, yeah. Also, the reason the... I upgraded the bucket here, and I see I missed a block, is, uh, well, this. <laughs> this monstrosity. Because it poops out the materials down into here. Yeah, I kind of need it. Just so the ore doesn't go flying every which way. And potentially break over here because of all the mods I have that increases oh excuse me efficiencies and all that and that's why I have so many oxygen bottles because of the second account that records because I don't want them to just or drop want him to just drop dead while recording he's gonna be the primary user of oxygen bottles anyway well yeah, I can work with this. Okay, does that script work yet? Hey, it would seem uploading has... No? Run. Yeah, V2, hydrogen gas, okay, um, timer. Uh, do I have to set it up again? I remember Keen saying something about how they...
about how they redid the code. Alright, I'm gonna have to fix that when I'm not uploading. Anyway, so I just wanted to touch base on a few things. Now, the plans for this week. Get more ice into this thing, so that way it actually starts running again. Start figuring out where to place the gravity generators, because it only affects up to here-ish. Work on the second uh, shield generator room. And then essentially, this back end is done. Anyway. Um, down here. Well, I know I definitely need to figure out the the hangar bridge, although I have to say I kind of like the setup that I have now. Like to help save on weight, I have the um, one by three slopes here, or one by two slopes here. Unfortunately, because of this mud, I'm kind of at an impasse where, why can't the windows ever be pointed like have the collision mesh because I can't put these any closer but I guess it does make sense because now you can have someone just watching and say yeah they can fit or something like that so here's what I'm thinking for the hangar bridges uh, these are a work in progress. Um, I need to swap out these catwalks for the new one. Even though technically this is another engineering section. But at the same time, I like the look of the new ones. It's just that the reactor room, those catwalks, catwalks kind of work. Uh, Otherwise, I need to figure out a, what to do with the rest of this space, even though it's really jagged, thanks to the slope. And I need to figure out what the heck to do with this one. I don't want to do another shield area, otherwise this thing is going to be impenetrable. Which is nice, but at the same time, we're not rebels. We don't over-rely on our shields. Even though I like my shields, because all I use is energy to replace them, instead of material. But unlike in Star Wars, I can actually easily repair any battle damage, but another thing for another day. So what do you guys think should go into uh, these side passages? I know there's going to need to be catwalks for the... Uh, thrusters over here, that way the engineers can actually perform maintenance on them, just in case. But what should the uh, section from here to the shield room be? I'll let you guys decide that. Maybe the reactor room, or, oh my god, I'm so tired. Maybe the refineries. I know I still need them, but I don't know. Um, this area is going to be crew areas, as I stated uh, previously, but oh yeah. it's going to take a lot of work to get to that point, and I still need to work on, uh, I should just remove that one. So, just wanted to catch you guys all up on uh, what's going on. I'm going to weld these, because these are starting to, are uh, not... Oi. Yep.
Yay. Okay, I think, yeah, I'm just gonna call it. I should remove you. You're nothing but a... Mm. Oh, you're the measuring drone I made. You didn't serve me at all, so I don't thank you for your service. That was difficult. Just another thing that's not cluttering up this world. Alright, get these back into the system. Get those refined. Alright, so with that said, I'm just gonna end it on that note. I should probably work on this a little more. I need, I mean, I did get this container area done. And you're probably asking yourself, why is there a giant void right here? That's just in case I need to add more of these expensive things. Of course, I do mean the other one does work. It's just, that's the old version. Oh, out with the old... In with the new and more powerful. I swear this is probably going to crash the game, but I don't care. It's idiots like me that push the game to its limits so that way the developers know uh, where it needs to get fixed. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm going to end it there on that psychotic note. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.